In earlier versions of Exchange, an Exchange server might serve as a specific type of server, a front-end, a mailbox, or a bridgehead server, and maybe those terms are familiar to you if you worked with Exchange 2000 or 2003. But the problem with this is that all of the code was installed, and this included unnecessary services and features. This leaves what we call a larger attack surface. So to reduce that surface, Exchange 2007 has five different server roles. When you install a server, you will choose the role or roles you wish to have installed. The five roles are divided between the internal and perimeter networks. On the perimeter, also known as the DMZ, meaning Demilitarized Zone, we have the Edge Transport role. Notice that there are two firewalls. That's what those brick walls symbolize. One to separate the Edge from the internal network and the four other server roles, and one between the Edge and the Internet itself. The whole purpose of this kind of design is to protect your organization from external attacks. Another server you might place within the perimeter is your Internet Security and Acceleration Server, or ISA server, which works along with Exchange to assist in providing greater security. Notice that on the internal network we have the Mailbox Server, the Client Access Server, the Hub Transport Server, all of these roles are absolutely necessary within your Exchange 2007 world, and as an optional server role we have the Unified Messaging Server. The Edge Transport role is also an optional server. In future lessons, we'll discuss the features of each server role in greater detail.